it's Miss Lisa from the Cornwall Public Library. Today I wanted to share with you a special project that you could do at home with your family. Um, in the past I did this project with our preschool story time so that were ages four and five and also with our chatter book, book discussion that was grades kindergarten to second. So this project is definitely for four and up, um, not for ages younger than that because of all the small pieces that are uh, part of the project. Um, the project is called uh, Dino Dig in Ice, and I paired it with the book uh, Dinosaur Bones by Bob Barner. Um, and also there's another book, um, Curious About Fossils, and that is by Kate Waters. And they're both available uh, through our Libby app. So if you can download the Libby app, you can uh, go on there, put in your library card number, your password is the last four of your phone number that we have on file. And you can go ahead and download the book. So again, it was Dinosaur Bones by Bob Barner, and the other one was Curious About Fossils by Kate Waters. So basically, we just need a few things for this. Um, when I did this project with the kids, I actually had plastic dinosaurs that I put in with this, but because I don't have them at home, um, I used what I had on hand. So I used shells, rocks, I had some marbles. I actually took out a dandelion out of my yard and a stick so what you do is you put all those items in a container. It could be a Rubbermaid like this. Here's a Rubbermaid. Here's a yogurt container, an applesauce container, any type of plastic container that you can put in the freezer. So I put all those items in, added some water, let it sit overnight, and this is what you get. And it's fun. So the kids, it's great for outside or if you want to put paper down on the table. What they try to do is they can excavate all the items or the fossils that are inside here. So you could use a spoon, you could use paint brushes. Sometimes the paint brushes are good once it starts to melt to try to get the little sticks out and the flowers, things that have a lot of parts, that's always great to use. Um, when I did it with the preschoolers, we went outside on the sidewalk and we, uh, ran it back and forth almost like we're doing like shaving the ice off of it so you could get it uh get the ice to melt a little bit on the sidewalk um i wouldn't recommend throwing it because then it will shatter and we really want to protect your eyes if they do want to do that make sure they have goggles on or even sunglasses because we just want to make sure everyone's safe so basically what i did i have some extra shells here just go ahead and you put your shells in a container that was pretty starfish Put that in there, add your water. And when I did, I did a whole bunch, so it was great to put it on a cookie sheet because then you could just find a place in your freezer. So there it goes. Most of them will settle to the bottom. Looks like the starfish wants to float a little bit. So it's a lot of fun to do. Um, this will sit overnight. If you don't have a big enough freezer for the cookie sheet, that's fine. You can kind of tuck it wherever you'd like. So this is a great project to do, uh, lots of fun. There's also another project that if you, if you just freeze, I froze marbles and shells in um, ice cube trays. And whatever you have on hand, you could use. And this is a game that you could play. Everyone gets an ice cube, you set a timer, and they have to warm it in their hands, and that's the only way that you can get the little treat that's inside the ice. So here's a rock, here's a marble, there's some shells. So you could set a timer or you could hand it out to everyone and the first one to get their item out by melting the ice with just the warmth of their hands wins. So it's a great project. I wanted to share it with you today. I miss everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.